guys, so today I'm filming a haul video and this isn't really a collective haul because I did buy this stuff in one shopping trip, but I'm going to be brutally honest and say I'm surprised at how many deals I scored on this shopping trip. I was like mind blown. I was like, look, what is this? The day of deals on a Friday night? Mind you, there also was not a lot of people at the mall except for one of the stores that I bought some stuff I'll show you from that store was um, crazy. Anyways, before I get into that, this is not a spring kind of haul video. The stuff I bought isn't spring really related. Um, it's just stuff that was on sale or stuff that I needed or wanted for a while or have just kind of been on my list that I've been looking for. I um, bought in this shopping trip. So yeah, and sorry if my lighting keeps kind of going off balance. Like it goes a little bit more white than a little bit more orangey. Like see right now I'm going more orangey. Um, I'm using all natural lighting, which is the best lighting to always use just for you YouTubers out there. Let's just get right on into this video. It's not a huge haul. It's kind of a small haul, but I'm going to share the stuff with you. Anyways, so the first shopping bag I'm going to show you is Juicy Couture. And this bag is actually like, I can't even fit it on screen. It's so big. And... I just want to say how ridiculous the sale was. It was 50% off the entire friggin' store, and I was kind of puzzled to why it was 50% off. I was like, like I've seen 30% off sales, 20% off sales, but never 50. And I was talking to some of the sale associates there, and they were saying that actually Juicy Couture is going to be closing throughout all of North America, so they are just going to be staying open in like Europe and stuff because apparently, I don't know the exact story, but the founder of the company or some German guy bought over Juicy Couture and is just going to expand and keep it in Europe. So I don't know if it's just they haven't been doing very well in Canada and in like Amer North America in general. But yeah, that's what's happening. So when my friend and I, Juliana, if you're watching, hey girl, we went shopping to Juicy Couture. We weren't even really looking for anything specific when we went into the store, but we were both ranting about how expensive their stuff is and how we've always, since we were little girls, wanting like a pink Juicy Couture velour sweater with a sparkly J. Well, this day was kind of like our dream come true day, if you want to say it like that, because the sales were just ridiculous. And then I also went shopping at American Apparel and Forever 21. So I'm gonna show you guys that stuff as well. So let's just get right on into it. The first thing, well, I'll just pull it out as a package because it kind of is. Also don't mind my messy hair. It's um, a natural hair day for me. Just letting you guys know. So the first thing I got is a Juicy Couture sweater and it is the J Bling hoodie. And this was originally $130. I can't imagine paying $130 for a velour sweater. So it's just this navy blue color. And if you don't know what velour is, it's kind of like that towel-y soft material. So that's what it looks like. And I know it looks pretty boring and you know, it's simple. That's why I would never spend $130 on a sweater like this, just because it's so simple. But what makes it is the sparkly J. And I don't know if you can see that right there. And you actually unhook this off the sweater when you're gonna like wash it in the machine or whatever so I actually got this in an extra large and that may sound like big I'm not an extra large normally but the fit on this is a lot snugger since it is the J bling hoodie as opposed to some of the other hoodies they carry and the sales associate that I was you know conversing back and forth conversation with was telling me that if I put this in the dryer once it will shrink one whole size. She said some of her regular customers that come to Juicy Couture told her that and she's not lying when she says it so I'm gonna try it See how that turns out. But basically just a simple hoodie with gold zipper detailing and the little like tassels and it just says JC on it. So I've always wanted the pink one, like the pink set of the sweater and the pants, but honestly it just made me look a little bit bigger than I actually am because it's such a bright color and attracts to different, you know, parts of your body that you may necessarily not want um, to be attracted to, so that's why I stayed away from the pink and I really am happy that I got the navy blue. My other option was black. The price of the sweater was $59.99. And then I did get it for $30. So, uh, like, that's ridiculous. That price is amazing. Uh, you would not be able to beat that price. I can't even imagine, like, oh my goodness. Anyways, so the price of that sweater was $30 instead of $130. So $100 off of that sweater, it's unimaginable. I can't even begin to explain. The next pair of... Um, the piece of clothing item that I am showing you is the pants that actually match the 
um, sweater and it's just a like boot cut kind of pant just like a track pant navy blue as well and these are the boot cut leg pant and these are in a size medium and this was originally $139, so even more than the freaking sweater. And then it was on sale for $74.99, and I ended up paying $37.50 for it, which is, again, ridiculous, and I can't even begin to explain that crazy deal. So then they also have a cute couple pockets on the back, which I wasn't sure if I loved at first, like when I tried these on, but then I kind of fell more in love with them because they actually open, they're not just for decoration, and it says Juicy Couture on the button, and you could store whatever you want in there, a pair of car keys or house keys, whatever. So I feel like this with that sweater would just be such a cute kind of outfit on a lazy day with a pair of Uggs or something. Anyway, so that was that. So I also did purchase a perfume when I went to the Juicy Couture store, and my all-time favorite perfume is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture, and since they are closing down Juicy Couture in all North America, the sales associates were telling me again that they are even going to discontinue the perfumes in different stores, not just in Juicy Couture, so in like Sephora and stuff, eventually they're going to be discontinued, which really, really broke my heart because that is my favorite all-time smell, same with my sisters, same with my moms. It's just a very, like, a signature perfume that many, many girls have out there. So, they actually had their perfumes on sale, and they, Juicy Couture doesn't sell their original scent, the Viva La Juicy, which is strange, because it's Juicy Couture. They sell, like, um, all their other ones. And then I found this one I picked up, and this is the Viva La Juicy La Fleur. And I usually don't like the spin-offs of the original, like, the noir, the nighttime version, or, like, the floral version, but this smells so similar that it would be hard for me to distinguish a difference, you know, if I was wearing it. It's not a huge difference, that's why I did buy it in the full size. And this was an amazing deal for perfumes, because we all know how expensive perfumes can get, especially when they're in the, um, you know, huge, biggest container, glass bottle, that you can possibly buy. The smaller version was, oh, I want to say 80 or something dollars, and half off, it was 50% off, it would have been 40. This one was 105, and I got it for 52.50. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm, the bottle in the packaging is just, you can't beat this, like, I've always loved Juicy Couture's, you know, packaging and the little bow they always put. They always put so much effort into it, the little dazzled jewel, and I can't, it just unreal, and I'm going to spray it right now, actually, because I love this scent so much, and the spritzer works really well as, as well, because I know some perfume sprays just do not work well, but I'm very pleased with that perfume and all the deals that I did score at Juicy Couture. I wasn't, like expecting anything at all walking into that store but as soon as my friend saw that sign she's like 50% off entire store we're going in so it was insane that was the busiest store I probably went to and I spent 135.58 with tax my subtotal before tax was 119.98 and $15.60 on top of that with the tax and said I saved $120 so $130 just for the sweater usually and I got the sweater the pants and the perfume for 135.58, which I still can't wrap my head around. So I'm gonna stop talking about Juicy Couture because I know you guys are probably sick of it. But I would run to the store right now and try to find whatever I could before they close down. Because once they're closed down, you're gonna have to fly to like Europe. And along with that, they give you this awesome free like dress bag. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like those bags like this, and you hang up your stuff in it, like your suits. It says Juicy Couture on the back and just stripes navy blue or I can't really see black and it's really good quality and smells like plastic because I just opened it but that came free with the purchase as well. The next place that I'm going to talk about that I bought something from is American Apparel and I only bought one thing from there but I've been eyeing this item for so long. I A very 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 long time. Anyway, so it's this skirt, and it's a high-waisted denim skirt, and it looks like this, and it's a little bit short. The struggle I had to buy it, I was like, the only thing that's turning me off on the skirt was how short it is. If you think about it, you could always wear a pair of shorts or something underneath if you're not quite comfortable just wearing this short of a skirt out in public. It's so cute. It's definitely, like, you can feel like it's a denim-y type material. It's not super stretchy or anything. It's, like, pure denim. Apparently, this was handmade as well. The 
sales girl was telling me. So I don't remember how much this was, but it was definitely over 40, maybe 50 bucks. But I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it for summer because I have a lot of crop tops that I wanna wear. Like cute little skirts and my white little converse and cute little frilly socks as opposed to like jean shorts because I've kind of gotten over that phase. I really like high-waisted skirts now, like my black pleather one from H&M I wear all the time. It's not even funny. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this and let me know down below if you want a styling video with this skirt because I'm definitely up for that. I feel like that would be a great, you know, video for some people to watch. Next I went to Sephora and I went to Sephora because I needed a new concealer because I am running out of my Benefit Fake Up concealer and there's literally this much left. Yeah, barely anything and to be honest this wasn't my favorite concealer of all time. I know a lot of YouTubers were in love with it, but I just found it creased way too much under my eyes. At first it was like kind of bearable, like I could kind of get through the day without being like annoyed. By the end of the day, since this moisture barrier around the concealer, because the concealer is in the middle, it would just like oh, make my eye underneath so much easier for the concealer to sit into the creases. So anyway, just trying to use that up because you know it's not a cheap product. But I went to Sephora and I kind of explained my issue and I had a bunch of concealers I wanted to try for a while and I said, out of this list, what do you recommend for under eye bags, covering up blemishes, redness, basically a multi-purpose product. And I knew that, I knew this was at the top of my list, but I didn't know if they'd actually, you know, be like, that is the be probably the best for all multi-use things. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and it's just in this simple black packaging and I'm in the shade light to vanilla one two three two if that means anything to you so one of the lighter shades on the spectrum and it just looks like this and it just I don't want to open it but it's a dove like a spongy applicator on the end and let me tell you how creamy and great this product is I've only used it two days and I already know I'm in love with it this is probably right now my favorite concealer of all time that I've tried and I've tried tons of concealers low end and high end and this has definitely been by far my favorite um, it was not cheap it was around $32 with tax it was like 36 16 or something like that at least in Canada so it's not cheap like I said but I did need a new concealer and this one definitely does the trick I put this under my eyes I put it on my like pimples because I have some on my chin and my forehead and then I blend it all in and it just works wonders so I'm really happy with this product I'm really great and glad for the recommendation I recommend this to anyone out there and the last place I went to is forever 21 and I just wanted to pick up a couple things. I want to pick up some earrings for summer because I wanted some more studs. Funny because I'm actually not wearing any earrings right now. But I just wanted to pick out a bunch of earrings. First ones, you'll notice a little pattern here too. They're all really similar which is kind of bad on my part I guess. But I really like them because they all have a little bit something different to them. These were $6.80 and is it just me or is Forever 21 getting more and more expensive because their earrings used to be like 180, 280, 380 and now they're 680 for two pairs. So anyways they're just these circles and they're black with uh, gold like ring around them with little silver rhinestones. So so pretty. I feel like very classy. These ones you can't even tell because the like camera's washing it out so much. This is like a white version of it and then same kind of ring around it and rhinestones and these were at 680. The next pairs I got were these little hearts and they're like a cream like creamsicle peach heart in the middle and then a gold like ring on the outside and then little rhinestones again. These are 580. These ones were really cute for summer. I really like the nautical trend and you can't really tell but they're navy blue with little anchors and this is the gold hardware. These were 480. I know they also came in red if you were wondering. These ones I actually wore yesterday night. They're like little knots and they're black and gold and these were 380. These were the very first ones I picked up. I love this color. It's like a periwinkle blue again with the gold like ring around it. These were 480. And then I just got some fun like green ones and they're just like little um flowers and these were 480 with gold detail. And then I got some gold crosses that were 380 because I didn't own any gold cross earrings. I own rings, bracelets, but I do not own earrings. So I decided to pick that up. Then for clothing, I just got a dress because I needed something formal to wear to my sister's confirmation. And I actually was having the time of my life trying on dresses because Forever 21 had 
uh, such a good stock in for summer dresses. And this was on the clearance rack too. Now I, I was so stunned. I was like, why? Anyways, so this dress was originally twenty one. At 80, $21.80 and I would have paid that anyway for it because I love the dress so much and it was on sale for $13.99 and it's just this orangey red color with a black mesh like cutout or it's not really a cutout but like see-through slip on each side and it's kind of short this is a size small and I'm usually a medium but it's very slim fitting and it just it's such a pretty color and to be exact this was um, the color tomato, not really red orange, it was called tomato. And then the back is this nice circle cutout, and I feel like with a pair of black heels, this would be so pretty to wear to, you know, a fancier event. I also tried on like a magenta one with like a heart cutout on the back. Very, very pretty. Same type of like cap sleeve, flouncy, like um, flowy, you know, body con type dress slimming a little bit going out with the skirt really really pretty and off that rack goes buy one get one free so I actually did find something else usually when I go to the buy one get one free rack or they usually don't have it but when I went they literally had nothing that I liked everything was like really like not my style except for this dress and I wasn't gonna buy two of these dresses but my friend Juliana again she actually found this over the like a jumper, I don't know what they call it, an over the head type of sweater, and it was in size medium. And it just says lovely number or number seven lovely perfume. And I feel like my friend has this, but apparently she doesn't. But I've seen this definitely somewhere before. This is not fitting big at all. It's very like true to size. This sweater, I don't even want to wash it because I feel like it's gonna shrink because it's at the perfect fit right now. So if I wash it, I feel like it's gonna shrink. So yeah. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my little rant on my sales and deals going on because, you know, buy one, get one free on Forever 21, 50% off on Juicy Couture, and then like some cheaper, you know, jewelry pieces and stuff. So remember to comment, to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. My official links will all be in the description box, and like what I'm wearing in this video and stuff will also be in the description box. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.